about Jesus. What's up? <laughs> Who doesn't love Jesus? I mean, okay. Okay. I realized that was a loaded statement. But he wasn't a bad guy, you know. I'm not religious, but you know. I'd do him. Painting a candle. I hope it still glows after I paint it. Fleetwood. Green for the heart. Blue for the voice. Purple for consciousness and the third eye, but that's more indigo. Good night, good night. So this is the first um, video that I'm taking while I'm actually painting. I thought about live streaming, but um, I don't know. It just seems like something to record since I've got you here. Why not? I went to the teacher training meeting at the Walter School in Clinton. Uh, that was pretty rad. Something that definitely drew me in. But it didn't really draw me in. It, like, it had been drawing me in for months now and it just sort of culminated there like, yep, yeah, this is an awesome thing and could be Definitely like a life path sort of thing, but then I went to my good friend Taylor's house and that wave of, but you want to be famous came over you, me, myself. Oh, kind of a weird slip. Talking about myself in the third person. Um, as if though that is a pipe dream. Blue for the voice. Um, the famous thing, I mean, but whatever, moving on. Um, Waldorf is amazing. When I have children, they will be Waldorf children. I highly recommend you research it. I said that before, I will say it again. Um... A weird day. When is it not a weird day these days? <sighs> Never. That's a lot of green. I didn't need that much green. This is a difficult process because you can't see my palette, but I kind of want you to see my face because I'm in that kind of mood. Um, anyway, um, so it's a, it's a choice. I'm really hoping that once I paint these, so, you know, the glass will be kind of a, um, I don't know, I'm sort of, you know, creating this kind of opaque surrounding. I don't exactly know if it's going to glow or not when the candle burns down through it, but we shall find out. This candle specifically came from our living room. Um, I had used a one of the prosperity candles that we had for a long time. My mom and I relit it. It had been a long time since we the household had lit the candle, so my mom and I relit it, and then I was using the candle. Um, I, was, I took it upon myself to... Uh, tend to the flame that we had lit um, and sort of kept it in my bedroom and my bathroom for a while and used it all up. So this is one of the candles that I had bought uh, that a while ago intending to do just this very thing. Um, and uh, Gwen has been burning it in the living room, but uh, I just sort of reclaimed it for 
the evening. It's 2.15 a.m., March 21st. Um, Gwen's in bed. She always goes to bed early. And I'm going to put it back right where it was, but it's going to be painted this time. What color shall be next? We may never know. I want to paint around the edges of the top, but maybe it's better that we just leave that blank. But originally I thought it would be cool just to have this kind of break right where, break of paint right where it has already burned off. But I've already done the part where it hasn't burned off, you know, so. What are you gonna do? Uh, purple maybe? No, I have no purple down. Maybe this old purple is kind of, you should see this. Oh, this is a good, this is my crutch. Whatever. Thank you, Ethan Berkeley, for these pants. You know what I mean. And no, it's nothing like that. Um, I had a ceremonial uh, burning of a pair of pants of mine, and he was wearing these pants at the time. And there was another pair of pants available to us because the universe is wonderful like that and gives us gifts in that way. Um, right where we were, and we, I put on his pants um, after said ceremonial ritual um, and have not given them back, but he knew that I wasn't going to give them back, so it was kind of understood in that ceremonial flame I lost my debit card and my license because I had conveniently forgotten that they were in the pocket of the pants that I decided to torch. Uh, so that's awesome. But, you know, whatever. Uh, I don't really know what color this is going to turn into. I have this feeling it's going to go from white to dark blue to deep, deep through the purple range into red and back again. Maybe to orange and back again. This is kind of hard though because the paint is not drying fast enough. I can still sort of scrape it off of the um, glass that it's in. So I'm hoping I will not mess it up. I might have to take a break and that is just so against what I want. It's not what I want at all. I want to be able to finish this just completely in these like very few minutes because I'm used to painting very quickly like this because it is so therapeutic for me. What are we at? Mm, eight minutes and 35 seconds. Well, maybe I'll let it go to 10. <gasps> no, yes, no. I hope many of you have seen Eddie Izzard's stand-up comedy, Dressed to Kill, where he mentions that uh, Engelbert Humberdink died in a car crash and then goes through many minutes of something that goes like this. Nah, I'm just kidding. No, really. No, no, no. But it's a lot funnier than that. My um, old friend Mariah and I used to have battles where we would try and keep it going the longest, the no, yes, silently deadly, I tell you. It's a deadly, deadly comedic trick. Speaking of comedians, Bo Burnham. What the fuck? Discuss amongst yourselves. I'm gonna peace out, finish this up. Adios, amigos.